Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim, where I'm recording in 60 FPS. Um, previously I couldn't do this because it took up way, way too much disk space, but I've discovered another way of recording using this software. Um, I've been experimenting with it, 60 FPS stuff on the other channel, on the, the Flight Sim uh, channel. And it seemed to have worked out quite well. I was actually able to record in 60 FPS using OBS as opposed to Morales Action, which is what I normally use. Um, however, unfortunately, using OBS to record Skyrim is just awkward because you have to record it in windowed mode, which means you have to put OBS in. You, ha you have to disable Windows Aero to do that with OBS, which um, then causes um, screen tearing on um, on Skyrim really quite nasty screen tearing and it also also kills the frame rate for some reason um, so uh, ironically while that while that little 60 FPS sort of method of recording worked for X-Plane which was sort of trying it with them um, for the other channel um, what are you doing Greg what are you doing um, it didn't work for this however I am recording in 60 FPS nevertheless because I've discovered that I can put Morellis action into a different file format which is MP4 with NVIDIA's NVENC hardware encoding thing, um, which seems to do the job. It seems to record into an MP4 format, a compressed one, with a much, much, much lower file size than normal, while recording at 60 FPS, while not also destroying my frame rate or giving me screen tearing. Um, the, there are only two downsides to it. One, which is it, every time I start recording, an error message pops up and goes bong at you. And um, initially, pressing like ignore or abort or whatever would, would cause the recording software to crash. However, I've noticed if you just tick the if you just hit the ignore option in the error box, it carries on and it records no problem. It's just. So, so it's fine, it's just every time I record in 60 FPS I have to put up with an error message popping up um, in my face <laughs> every time I hit the start record button. Um, but such is life, whatever, I can deal with that. Um, it, it, it always gets edited out anyway, so it's not like as if you guys have to see it. Um, and the only other thing is that it seems to record... Um, it records fine, it records the game with the ENB running and everything. The only, different, the only thing is it records it with massively low brightness I don't really know why it just the brightness on the on the on the recorded footage is way lower than it is in the game currently so that's a bit strange but again I guess what can you do really um, I, I I already brighten things up in editing as it is I guess I'll just have to brighten it up a bit more than I would normally to compensate it's kind of irritating but um, I guess I can live with it. Anyway, yeah. So he, he, here you go. Here's an experimental 60 FPS episode of Skyrim. Enjoy. Um, based on audience feedback and um, how how the whole, whole um, editing and rendering process ends up going. Uh, we may or may not keep this. Um, but we'll see how we get on. Ideally, I would have liked to be able to do it with OBS because that means I could just, you know, record all my programs with OBS now. But no. Skyrim is one of those special little snowflakes of a game that insists on you recording it in a very specific, out of, out of the way, awkward fashion, unique to it, because Skyrim is just a little whiny bitch like that when it comes to being recorded for some reason. It's like, yeah, 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 I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let you record me with that. You have to record me with this, and you have to use this very specific method of recording me with this. Otherwise, I'm going to crash. I'm just sorry. I'm going to crash. Or I'm going to crash your recording software. It's up to you. Um, no other game on my computer do I have this kind of trouble recording. But o only Skyrim. I fuck knows why. Not even Fallout 4, ironically enough. Fallout 4 is a breeze to record as well. Every Bethesda game I own is except for Skyrim. Skyrim's an absolute bitch. God knows why. God knows where Greg is as well. But um, whatever. He'll find his way, I suppose. Anyway, technical bullshit out of the way. We're just leaving uh, Fort Dawnguard in Dayspring Canyon because we're off on a road trip up north to somewhere called Dim Hollow. Uh, where we're going to meet a Vigilant of Stendar fellow. I don't really like the Vigilants of Stendar. They, um, 
were constantly randomly attacking me in all sorts whenever it went out back when I was a werewolf, so you know I think they're a bunch of intolerant bastards and part of me is happy to hear they've all been wiped off the face of the earth, but at the same time um, you know probably bad than they were, especially by vampires um, lesser of two evils and all that, so uh Oh, it'll be a mud crab or something, that's what I can hear, clicking away. So yeah, we're going to Dim Hollow to investigate vampire activity or something like that, I don't really. Um, because Isran apparently is too lazy to do it himself. Uh, ooh, interesting fog issues I'm getting on my mini-map. That's new. Um, whatever, <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a bit strange, but I'll, I'll deal with it. Um... Current location is apparently all the way over here somewhere. I think the map is telling porkies, frankly, but hey. So... Yeah, this is where we're going. Dim Hollow, find out what the vampires are seeking. We've also got a little side questy thing here to investigate rumours of strange noises in Greywater Grotto. Um, I'm thinking what I might do is we'll leave Riften and we'll go along this south road all the way through here and investigate this before heading north to this. This may just end up being a random, you know, radiant piece of bollocks. Uh, there's probably Falmer in there or something, but you never know. Rumours of strange noises could mean anything from, oh, generic Falmer cave to, oh, there's actually like a quest here and something interesting to do. Um, I think it's more likely to be Falmer than an actual proper thing to do, but you never know. So, um, what else have we got? Oh yeah, there's this whole lost temple thing up, all the way up there. Not not quite so interested in that though. Not right now, anyway. It's a bit out of our way. Um, uh, yeah, we need to go talk to Nailoth at some point. Yeah, like like that's ever gonna happen. <laughs> if I ever ever bother to go back to Solstheim, maybe I'll maybe I'll go and say hello and do that. But um, it's not likely to happen any any time soon. Uh, yes, uh, it turns out Alduin was defeated in ancient times by a shout of some kind, and I need to go talk to Arngear at some point when I can get, be bothered to get off my lazy ass and do it about about it. Um, we're kind of procrastinating as far as the, the main quest is concerned at the moment. Oh, and there's rumours of vampire activity in Boulderfall Cave. So... Where's that, then? That's actually not too far away from here. I suppose we could go deal with that. For now. Sort of go like that, and then like... Yeah, alright then. Well, right then, we'll, we'll, we'll get rid of a bunch of random rubbish. In our journal type thing. It's probably just not going to be that interesting, but you never know. We'll give it a whirl. See what we find. I already picked that up on the way in, didn't I? Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, picked that up as well. Apparently, I'm hungry yet again. There you go. You fat bugger. I don't know. Claudius, I don't, you just, you eat like a horse. <sighs> I swear it's every five minutes. You're hungry all the time. Uh, now then. Actually, someone was asking, a few people are asking to see what our pumping iron stats are, actually. It's been a while since we checked those, hasn't it? 77 is our body weight now. Crikey. I think we started off at like 10. We've uh, gotten pretty beefy as to <laughs> as our adventures have gone on. I discovered what some of my issues, by the way. Oh, great! Yeah, the, the weird mist is going to come back now. Um, I discovered what some of my weird issues with the stuttering and m mucking around was. I think it's because of my EMB settings. The um, the frame rate limiter was um, bound to the same key as my record button weirdly enough, so 
Essentially, half the time when I would, when I would hit the record button, um, it would also turn on the frame rate limiter, which is what was causing me to get some very odd frame rate related behavior. Um, I've now fixed that, so um, hence I'm now getting a nice smooth 60 frames a second. Hello there. You're going to be a problem. No arrows equipped. Well, that's a bit silly of me, isn't it? Um. <laughs> arrows, arrows, arrows. These will do. It's your game then, eh? That's close enough. You're wearing a big metal mask. You're probably not good news, are you? <sighs> Bandit plunderer. Thought as much. You got any goodies for me? A book called King, which I read. I don't think I've already read, actually. It's usually a little icon to indicate you have already read it. Yeah, this one. Oh, look at that! Heavy weaponry. Oh, wow. Yeah, that skill I never, ever use. Damn! <laughs> right through the eye socket. Yikes. That was not a bad shot, if I do say so myself. Um. <laughs> Anything else up here? An empty chest. <laughs> if I had hazard a guess, I'd say I've been here before. It's just these guys weren't here the last time. Oh, come on, horse, really? Must you do this every time? There you are. Oh no, that's Greg's one. Don't I have a horse call thing here? Horse whistle, that's the one. There you are! Right, come on then. Who the devil are you? Oh, you know, I don't care. <laughs> I'm just gonna be on my way. According to the viewers, the enhanced camera mod, I think that's what it's called, will allow me to go into first person on horseback. I may see about getting that, if it isn't too weird and glitchy. Oh dear, you know what, all this weird ambient occlusion nonsense. I mean, it looks pretty flickery on my screen, it's probably going to play merry hell with the, um, the encoding on this video. If everything looks all pixelated and horrible, guys, I do apologise. There's <laughs> not much I could do about it. It's just the way video encoding works, and the way it interprets the images on the screen. You get lots of black and white and flickering and lots of rapid movement. It, it goes a bit crazy. Um, nothing you could do about that. Part, part of it is my own encoding settings, which are not the highest in the world, but also a lot of it's got to do with YouTube. Um... Alright then, well. And I'm afraid, if I, I mean, it might not be too bad, but the fact that I have to brighten this up like a ridiculous amount in, um, in post, because of the weird way it seems to record in 60 FPS, I, you know, like I said, it lowers the brightness a whole hell of a load. That might further decrease the quality, I'm afraid. Um, artificially brightening it and mucking around with it in, in posts like that can do that sometimes. So, yeah, I'm afraid this is a very experimental video and you're all guinea pigs watching this. So, uh, we'll, we'll see how we get on. The main upside to all of this... Who the devil are you? The main upside to all this is the fact that obviously it's 60 mm. FPS, but frankly, if the, if the benefits of 60 FPS are outweighed by all the annoying bullshit, then oh well. What do you need? Criminal. Now ain't this a surprise. I truly do not know what you intended to achieve there. Other than providing me with a bit of free lunch and a drink, I guess. Anyway, move it on. <laughs> I 
we're going the wrong way. Uh, well, yeah, we need to go this way. Is this fort occupied? It should be, by, by Imperials. Because I think I remember storming this place and ejecting the Stormcloaks that were living there at the time. Well, I see Imperial banners, so... Let's assume yes. Yeah, there are Imperial soldiers here. Jolly good. Carry on, everybody! I'm a legate in the Imperial Legion, technically, aren't I? Although I'm a bit of a free agent these days. I'm not sure where our next... Oh dear, that fog effect is very strange. That definitely wasn't there before. There's some strange E&B related uh, shenanigans going on here, let me tell you. I'll just have to figure out later what those are. Anyway, never mind. Um, I was going to say something, can't remember what it was. Oh yeah, no, I was wondering... What are we actually supposed to be doing for the Imperial Legion? Because I've been putting that off for ages. What the devil? There's a battle going on. It's... Random bloke versus a wolf. Alright there, mate. Who are you? Kyoli. I love the rift. You don't get any of that ice water you get up north. Sure, it rains from time to time, but most days it's just an endless parade of petals rocking gently to sleep, like a living lullaby. I was about to say that's a bit arty, poety, poety, po po poem-ish. I don't know what the fucking word is. For just a random peasant. Nothing against random peasants, but it's a little unusual. Guilty on both counts. Although my wife is the true artist, the way the sight of her makes my knees buckle. Uh, uh, yeah, that's the sort of questions I have. Farewell. Farewell to you, good traveler. May all your roads lead to warm sands. Are you also a Khajiit? Oh, he's married to one. Right, okay. I suppose that makes some sense. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, moving on. Um, yeah, this way. Okay, it's just it's not just dark for you guys right now. It's pretty dark on my screen as well. It's sort of very overcast and I, I have a feeling it's... If I can remember what the hell button it was. G for the clock. Yeah, there we go. It's getting into the evening now. It's looking a bit dim. There's a giant around here somewhere. I can hear his feet stamping around. Um. Oh, that wonderful sound. I'm going in completely the... No, I'm... Well, I, my camera was pointing in the wrong direction. Sort of. I'm not sure. What? This is very disorientating. I'm just going to keep going this way. No. Y yes. No. No, no. That... What? The quest marker on my compass is not corresponding to what I've actually got selected on the map, and it is confusing the crap out of me. Let's just go this way. I think that cave you can see on the compass there is what we're after. We have a bear. We had a bear. Oh, we're here again. I remember this place. Um, maybe we'll, over on our left somewhere. Okay. Hmm. 
Now would be a pretty good time for me to suddenly remember what the uh, wearable lantern talk key was. I, uh... Oh, it sure as hell wasn't that. Worth a try, I suppose. This is this is gonna lead to the cave, surely. This has got cave written all over it, this bit here. There's a cave. Animals are Thank you, Greg, for confirm confirming the presence of the cave. Now, if we can just kill this little sod, thank you. Alright, let's dump the horses over here. Okay, so... Yes. I would dearly love to remember. So that's, that's the hotkey that shows me how much oil is in the lantern. Close, but no cigar. What I actually want is a, um... Is a hotkey... It, uh, you know, actually lights up the lantern. That would be ideal. Uh, uh, yeah, that's not it. We found that last time. You know what? There's a f way of finding this out. Wearable lanterns. General. Check fuel. Ah, oh, of course. It was on. It's on a mouse button. I don't. That no longer exists on my new mouse. So that's why it. Um, Okay. Uh, what should we sign it to? Sony colon, I suppose. That's where a lot of my scripty hotkey bits are on the keyboard. Fraction of fortified blocking. Oh, get lost. More dead weight for me to carry around. <laughs> that I'll never remember to use. Boulderfall Cave. Hello. talking to himself. Uh, who seems to have detected us. He's not doing anything. Alright. Usually random weirdos that talk to themselves tend to attack on sight. So... Answer my query. And I will tell you. If it's what your what's your favourite colour or the airspeed velocity of an unladen sparrow, not swallow even. Um, Answer me. What are we going to yell? <sighs> yeah. I apologise, but others may not afford you such a courtesy. This is not a time for thin skin. Or hesitation. Uh, I really don't care for riddles, chum. My intent was not to confuse. I've been so consumed by this quest, I didn't know where else to turn. What? 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 what yeah. What, what? What are you talking about? For the last two years, I have embarked on a single road. Oh was to walk its twists and turns, overcome its many obstacles, all the while believing that if I followed it to the end, I would find redemption. Oh, for the love of... Only it appears the road ends here. In this hollow cave, with the corpse of the child I was asked to save. It was rumored that a child left for Eastmarsh to join the Stormcloaks in defiance of the father's alignment with the Empire. For a lord's house, the truth was far more incriminating. And for a loving father, one far more heartbreaking. Thus, the lord could not trust anyone. Save an Argonian prisoner, one guilty of the child's same crime, vampirism. Uh, you don't look like a vampire. Yes, the skin, eyes, and fangs are telltale signs. 
But some men can't be sure the same is true for other races. I was staying at an inn near the border when one of the local Nords decided to take offense with my presence. His was to challenge me to a brawl, and when I refused, he accused me of being a vampire. Uh, probably didn't go over very well. The world was toxic. That morning, two bodies were found outside, torn to shreds. Unrecognizable masses, if not for the bones and teeth. Things were tense around the village, and the gods were in a hurry to solve the case and placate the locals. I made an easy scapegoat. Locked in that cell for days, I began to starve. Not for blood, but for food. Theirs was to offer me bread in exchange for a confession. It was better to die by the axe than starvation, but few can stomach either. So I did what all mortals do when there is no logical escape. I prayed. <clears throat> to Julianos for temperance. To Stendar for mercy. To Mara for love. And when I awoke the next morning, my cage was gone. As was my hunger. Um, we were... What? What? Why can't? Why is that an option? What? That <laughs> doesn't make sense. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, it, well, yeah. Uh, be that as it may, you know, you said it was a quest of redemption, but you don't appear to have committed a crime. You you just sort of gotten thrown in jail by a bunch of idiot peasants who didn't know any better. Uh, by the looks of things. Not according to the laws of mortals, but the gods hold us to a different standard. Well, who freed you from prison then? The night before, I was paid a visit by a man, his face shrouded by the hood of his robe. In his arms, he cradled an urn, filled with the dust of a vampire. The dust was to be scattered around my cell, as proof of my demise. I knew not how much coin he had passed to my jailers, but it was enough to carry on with the ruse. Outside the barracks, a carriage awaited us both. It took us to a nearby chateau, where I would meet my true employer. A chateau, a French, um, stately manor and or castle, really. A chateau in Skyrim. Okay. Um, what happened next? When they brought me before the house lord, I told him I did not kill those men. Fucking motorbike outside. He told me he already awesome. knew. The real murderer was his own kin. He asked me if it was true about vampires. If they formed clans, family, he wanted to know if I knew where his daughter had fled. I told him, no. But I could find her. After all, I was a hunter. A member of the Order of the Birch's Blood. So I told him why I came to Skyrim and my desire for penance. Then he made an offer. A second chance for him, his daughter, and for me. Um, right, yeah, you keep mentioning some sort of penance, and you keep not mentioning what the crime you actually supposedly committed was. Before coming to Skyrim, I had spent my life hunting vampires for the Order. Much like the Vigilance, we often hunted in pairs. My partner was a Nightblade named Arlaz. He used stealth and shadow to eliminate our targets, while I covered him from a distance. This was a remarkable courage. Many in the Order prefer long-range attacks to avoid the chance of infection. Our last never deterred from his methods. 
Courage alone, however, was not enough to prepare us for what lay in that den nearly four winters ago. What happened in the den? Please don't make this take forever to tell me. I watched Arla scout ahead from afar, melding to the shadows in search of the enemy. The den was for all intents and purposes empty. Yet, the center table showed not a fleck of dust, and the torches on the wall were recently lit. A shiver swam up my tail like a cold fish. But I knew Arlas was safe so long as he stuck to the shadows. Until I saw the shadows themselves move. The shadows spread its wings, as did the others, cloaking the room in darkness. Came from above, like bats descending on their prey. Ours was to call to my friend and reach for my staff, trying to shield his escape with fire. We barely made it out alive, but not unscathed. One of those foul demons had raked its talons across our last back. All I had to do was look into his narrowing pupils to see the infection had taken root. I, why not just give him a potion then? I mean, that's what I always do after I've fought a bunch of vampires. It seems to do the job. It was progressing faster than any case of vampiris I had ever witnessed. Potions had no effect. There was no time to take him to a healer. What did you, what, blah, 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 what did you do then? Ours was to ask for his last request. He said, cure me. I thought it was a joke. He always made me laugh. Now I know the extent of my folly. Months later, I discovered his journal while putting away his things. It seems he had anticipated infection from the moment he joined the Order. He had been corresponding with a mage named Falion. A mage who was studying a cure. Hmm... You heartless shrew. Uh, uh, well, yeah, I mean, you did the best with a bad, made the best of a bad situation, really. Um, you know. Yours is a statement that I am thankful for. Perhaps, as the divines work in the shadows, there is a greater purpose to be found. I thought our last death brought me to Skyrim to save the nobleman's daughter. Now I wonder if they have brought me here to meet you. Oh, dear me. Um, you seem like an alright bloke, honestly. It's just, I, I really have had my fill lately of Argonians with tortured backstories. It never ends well. Um, what will you do now? Ours is to wait here for more of her brethren. The girl may have taken a liking to some of them, and chosen to infect rather than kill. If you are in need of a companion, however, I will be honored to journey with you on your quest. Uh. 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 Um... Yeah, point. It, it, it did appear to be a necromancer hideout, not actually a vampire lair, in spite of what I was led to believe actually coming here in the first place. Vampire dens have always been notoriously easy to track. Theirs is to cling to the fringes of a major hold, close to the road where traders pass. That is where a runaway vampire would seek shelter amongst her kind. This one, however had spent her entire life in the care of her noble parents. Hers was to run to where no one else could find her. The caves and nooks where darker forces wish to carry on unseen. How did you track her down then? It was a hunch, but with nary a lead, ours was to rely on chance. So I listened for rumors of necromancy first, and vampire second, 
There was an argument at the Bee and Barb about some nefarious activity near Sword Stone. Some claimed it was black mages. Others said vampires. Ours was to follow the lead here, to Boulderfall Cave. One could only pray to our cave that our arrival was not too late. Uh. Do, 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 do. So you know what, actually, you know, I, I initially played Claudius as a kind of very devout, pious character, but honestly, the way he's been constantly dicked over by the gods lately, especially Kinnereth, this is clearly the option I think he would probably go with at this point. Yeah, that's that lazy excuse for a god turned a blind eye to your pleas. Typical. Our cave could not save a girl who did not wish to be saved. You <sighs> see, I found her alone in this hideout. Energetic. Healthy. Face flushed with color. One of the bodies that lies here was once a highborn. The kin of a noble. My old friend Arlaz had a saying. Sickness is a virtue. The healthier a vampire was, the more often he had fed. The girl left me no choice. Hers was an existence that lived to feed, to milk the blood of those around her, including the unwitting necromancers that took her on as an apprentice. Ah, the unwitting necromancers, yeah? Um... <laughs> um... Given the girl's demise, what happens now? Someday, I will return to that village and tell her father a lie. It is not one that can be told right away. I will tell him she was a sweet girl who ran to protect him. A girl who laughed, who danced, and who loved. A girl who sought a cure and in the absence of one, took her own life. Ours is to tell him she achieved everything we hoped to out of life in a quarter of the time. Hmm. You know what? You're you're all right. You are. Come on then. Yours is to lead. Ours is to follow. We'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Uh, I hope you have a horse, though, because uh, otherwise, you're um. Well, you know, I hope you have a horse or. You're really, really good at um, running marathons, because, uh, yeah. And, um, you know, if you, um, if you have any pals from your Order of the Virtuous Blood that insist on coming back and starting to murder each other in some sort of convoluted, ridiculous conspiracy and plot, you get in the boot immediately. Okay? Deal? I'll take your silence as a yes. 